How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Sunday Night Heat, episode number two on No Holds Barred Wrestling Podcast, the show where myself, the self-proclaimed greatest host Kyle Masters, discusses and rants about trending topics in the WWE. You can follow the show on Twitter and join the discussion and conversation by tweeting at TSNH show and using the hashtag, hashtag TSNH. You can follow podcast itself as well on Twitter at NoHoldsBarWP, as well as listen to us on all our outlets, YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, Spreaker, and Stitcher. We are everywhere for you guys and easier and convenient for us or for you to listen to us. And as well is the Sunday Night Heat with myself. Guys, episode two this week is titled The Jobbers. And the current jobber, I guess, pandemic in the WWE. And boy, do we ever have a pandemic. Guys, it, it, this is crazy. Like The jobbers are just, they got to go. I just keep seeing everyone on Twitter and everywhere else just hating on the jobbers. You know what? They have a point and we're right. We don't need to see these guys on TV. It's not entertaining. It's not what we need. We only need them in specific situations as I'll get into. But first, let's start off with your tweets. First set of tweets come. From Gamma, Gamma and you on Twitter. He puts jobbers, I feel like every once in a while is okay, but when you feature them weekly with amount of talent on Raw, there is a problem, especially now with the cruiserweights on Raw. And you know what? I agree, Gamma. Like, w- with the amount of talent that they have to put in a three hour show, there's not enough room for these jobbers. It's good once in a while to showcase a new piece of talent, which I'll get into later as well, but right now, it's, it's not good. We also got a tweet from Irrelevance at Forlorn on Twitter. He puts, well, don't got much, but all I have to say is my thoughts was the jobbers were for showing off how dominant and special these opponents are, showcasing their move set for more than four moves, seeing how that these go for so close to two minutes. For Braun, he he uses to get simple twenty to one hundred thirty second match, which is true. With Sinkar, not only is he showing that he is fast for someone his size, but also beatable. For Sinkar, it's fifty fifty. It shows that Braun isn't some god that can't be killed, but is a simple man just taller and stronger. Okay, I have to agree with that as well. Now I've seen his. Uh, now I've thought his next match might be against Sinkara. Sadly, it's just 20 second match. Yeah. So the, the next match he had up against uh, Sinkara was only 20 seconds. It was terrible. After Braun is done, some mid card main eventer comes out. My guess was Roman Reigns wrote because people are uh, okay. So it's basically saying that Roman Reigns should be the next person to come out against Braun Strowman. You know what? I agree. It definitely, he looks like the type of uh, superstar to be the next one to step up to Braun Strowman and actually have a decent feud with him. Um, Next week comes from my our uh, at real Michael Chow, our number one fan. He puts jobbers may be one of the worst ideas in WWE has had in a while. I don't know anyone who actually enjoys these matches. There was no explanation on why these jobbers are even on the show. Are they all free agents trying to get a contract? You know what? That if they made it that way, whereas the jobbers we are competing for contracts, it would be slightly more interesting because it just show up and you have stupid crap like James Eldworth, who looks like the bottom of my shoe and like the milkman who never belong, who doesn't even belong on TV anymore. It's just, it doesn't make any sense. Michael Shaw goes on and puts, I'm surprised he Slater never faced Braun or Bo Dallas for a contract. <laughs> that is crazy how you would think that that, he, that could have been an opportunity for him, but no, it never happened that way. Um, Braun used to, Used to beat up several main event stars as part of the Wyatts. Bo Dallas was undefeated, beating several wrestlers when he first debuted on the main roster, and Nia made her a name for herself at NXT, so they don't need to put, be pushed. Exactly. So all three of those guys, back to what I was saying, don't need to be showcased because they've already made a name for themselves. Facing local jobbers now makes zero fucking sense. Like, doesn't need, we don't need it. He also puts beating up, beating jobbers is almost downgrade for them. And you know what? He's 100% right. It's literally just, it makes them look terrible. He also puts send the jobbers to main event, superstars, or NXT, not the main shows. Jobbers back in the day used to appear on Sunday Night Heat and Velocity all the time. And I remember that. That's true. Why don't they just stick the jobbers and have these jobber showcases on superstars and main event? It's where they belong. It's not televised. Well, sort of. They, appear, they don't appear live. But it's just somewhere where they, it belongs, and it doesn't need to be on live TV on Monday and Tuesday nights. It just needs to go. In conclusion, he puts, hashtag stop the jobbers. It just seems like creative is just plain lazy and can't think of anything for Braun, Nia, and Bo Dallas, which I 100% agree. Like, it, Who's back there and agreeing that, you know what? Hmm, We got Braun Strowman, this larger-than-life athlete who's comparable to Big Show but in shape. 
and he's supposed to be like the savior of of wrestling, but you have him going out and squashing people in like four moves. That makes sense. Oh yeah, sure. Why not? That makes that's gonna freaking draw everybody in. Is Braun Strowman squashing people? And the same goes for Nia Jax. And for some reason, Bo Dallas freaking squashing people. I don't even know what the hell that's about. Like, does guy really need to be squashing people? I don't know if this is like a punishment for him. Like, it's a weird punishment if it is. Um, but yeah, thanks for your tweets, guys. As always. Um, so let's get into the main topic here as of the jobbers. It is literally the most pointless thing Darby has ever created. They're only useful for once, and that's a showcase. Someone new, not like someone from the indie, someone brand new, homegrown talent that no one knows about. Make them look more dominant like they did with Ryback back in the day. And then that's all right. But not this continuous shit with Nia Jax, Braun Strowman, and Bo Nellis, who we knew before this. But now they're, 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 they're just jobbing people left and right. It makes no sense. No one actually likes this. I want to know if anyone actually likes this, please comment and tweet at me because I really want to know and I want to know your opinion behind why jobbers are fantastic. Please tell me. <laughs> like, I want to know who out there tunes into Raw or SmackDown every week, watches the first hour, loves what they see, and then halfway through, they're like, hmm, I could go really go for a jobbers match right now, then sits there and watches that shit and says, this is awesome. Who? No one, no one does that. Absolutely zero. I want to know the person. If the person is listening to this right now, tweet at me. I want to know. I really want to have a strong conversation with you. But like, Raw has three superstars that are currently doing this right now, as in Nia Jax, Braun Strowman, and Bo Dallas. It just makes no sense for Bo Dallas, for one. Braun Strowman, whatever. I kind of see what they're trying to do. Nia Jax... It's she went from main eventing with Bailey on NXT to oh yeah we suddenly forgot about Nia Jax so now she needs to squash everybody now she needs to squash Alicia Fox like can these guys please get a decent feud it makes no sense I don't understand like Nia Jax squashing Alicia Fox twice once at the pay per view like it's a job feud why. Why doesn't she have someone to feud with? Why doesn't Sasha Banks win the title and feud with Nia Jax? That could be a good feud. But no, we're subjected to this jobber crap. Ugh. And Strowman needs a feud. He's, he's feuding with Sin Cara for some god-awful reason. They they just need to find someone. Even if it means bringing back Mark Henry here, here and there or Big Show. Why are they waiting so long? Ugh, I, I don't understand. Who backstage... It's saying, oh, oh, Vince, the ratings, the ratings will grow if we have jobbers, Vince. No, they need to get out. Get the fuck out. It's fucking garbage. It's shit. It's stupid. It makes no sense. I hate jobbers and anyone out there that likes jobbers. You need to start going watch TNA because I don't know what the fuck are you thinking? Ugh, I, I don't understand. I, if, it's beyond me, ladies and gentlemen. I, I can't even. I have nothing else to rant about because jobbers. They're just useless. They're they're really useless. You get nothing on SmackDown. We get the Milkman that appeared once, and, and Kane came out and crushed him. Yeah, whatever. I really hope we never see the Milkman on TV again. I don't know. We had Bailey freaking or we had uh, um, not Bailey. What's her name? Nia Jax. How did I forget that? Nia Jax squashing left and right. I don't understand. Yeah, Bailey. Yeah, she, why don't she face Bailey? That could be a good feud as well. I don't understand. Dirty needs to get this shit sorted out because that three-hour show and you putting jobbers in it is waste. It's such a waste, and it's, it's, it's wasting precious time for people who deserve that time. And that's going to be it for that rant, guys. Episode 3 will come next week. Stay tuned on Twitter to see the Episode 3 topic. Other than that, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the Sunday Night Heat the show where I like to rant and discuss about training topics in the WWE. As always, guys, you can go on Twitter and follow the show at TSNH Show and use the hashtag TSNH for joining in on the conversation. You can also follow the podcast itself, No Holds Barred Wrestling Podcast, on Twitter at No Holds Barred WP. And you can listen to us on our outlets, YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, Spreaker, and Stitcher. Guys, as always, I'm Kyle Masters. Stay fired up.